Yo guys, what is going on? New breaking news for the Boston Red Sox and the Houston Astros. Insane news. So what has happened is A.J. Hinch for the Astros. This is for the Astros I'm talking about right now. For the Astros, A.J. Hinch and their general manager, the Astros general manager, have been suspended for one year. After they got suspended, were fired. A.J. Hinch, known as one of the best baseball managers, and their general, the Astros general manager is known as one of the best general managers in the league, both fired. Next, they took away the 2020 first round pick, 2020 second round pick, and the 2021 first round pick, and the 2020 20 second round pick as well. They had taken away the first and second rounders from 2020 and 2021. So they will not have that pick at all. Could go to another team. And the Astros organization was fined $5 million. That is a, not a lot of money for, you know, for an organization. Okay, it's not that big. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, it's whatever. Do I think the punishment should have been harsher? Yeah, I honestly do. And me being a Red Sox fan, if the Red Sox were found out of cheating, I agree the same thing. They should get their draft picks taken away. They should get even a harsher punishment than the Astros got. Because this is cheating. This is This is cheating. Okay? You taking away just their first and second round pick, take away all their picks from that draft class. Maybe even the 2023rd picks, too. So they don't even have a chance to even build their prospect system. So, you know, it's just... Also, find them more money. Find them even more money. Maybe like $15 million. I get it. That's a lot of money. But for an organization, it's not that big. You have to show... See, the problem with this thing is... You know, I'm not really outraged of what the Astros did. Okay? They did it. That's what they did. I'm not really outraged because it really didn't really even affect me that much. It affected the Dodgers, though. But the way cheating will work is that when these other organizations get a, get a load of what the... Astros did, and they hear what the Astros did, and what they got fined for, and they're like, wow, that's not really that much. They'll do the same exact thing, because they're not worried about the consequences. Now, on to the Red Sox. Reports are Alex Cora's punishment is supposed to be um, really harsh, and you know what? If I'm the Red Sox right now, you got to think about a new backup manager. A guy that could come in and fill Alex Cora's shoes. Because if Alex Cora and the Red Sox get caught of this punishment. And get punishment just like the... They should fire Alex Cora anyway. He was part of this. You know, Alex Cora should be suspended already. Because he was part of this. You know, I, I never thought Carlos Beltran should get suspended. Because Beltran, the players had... The players did have... To, were involved with it, obviously. But the managers are the root of it. You know, if you're the ma if you're the player, you're not you're you have less power than what the manager does. If the manager tells you to do something, you're supposed to do it. That's just how it is. So a lot of these players probably disagree with what the Astros were doing. Astro players were probably disagreeing with what the Astros were management was telling them to do. But they had to do it. Now. My opinion for Alex Cora in the Red Sox organization, if they get found of cheating, which is a very big possibility because they had that whole uh, Apple, I wa Apple Watch scandal back in 2018. I think that was against the Yankees. Alex Cora should be suspended, just like A.J. Hinch was for a year. And Alex Cora should be fined. The Red Sox should be fined. The Red Sox should be, and this is coming from a Red Sox fan. I am against when the Patriots cheat. 
I'm against when the Red Sox cheat. I'm against when every other organization cheats because it's stupid. The Patriots cheating this year, too, I was pissed off at. You're going to cheat against the Bengals? That's, that's beyond stupid. Now, yes, the Red Sox should get a, a hard punishment, too. Okay, because I'm going to be fair. This is an unbiased opinion. This is honest, just an honest opinion of what should happen. Because the way the Red Sox, you know, you should not win a championship if you cheat. You know, Pete Rose didn't do something nearly as bad. Didn't do, do anything nearly as bad. And he's banned for life from the Hall of Fame. The all-time leading hit leader. Didn't even cheat. He didn't even cheat. He just gambled. He gambled on games. He didn't use any steroids. He didn't use any sign-stealing equipment. All he did was gamble. And if you know anything about gambling, Michael Jordan was a huge gambler. Sports players were all huge gamblers. A lot of sports players were all huge gamblers. I'm not saying Michael Jordan threw any games. Don't get me wrong. But Michael Jordan was a huge gambler. Okay? Do I think Pete Rose should be in the Hall of Fame? Yes, I do. I think Pete Rose should definitely be in the Hall of Fame. But the way these... The way the Astros and the Red Sox cheated. And there's going to be more outbreaks. There's going to be new, more news breaks of teams cheating. It's not just the Red Sox and Astros. I bet you a ton of teams that have been successful have done this. But, no. There is zero tolerance for cheating, especially in baseball. For any sport, there should be zero tolerance for cheating. Anyway, I think Alex Cora should get fired from the Red Sox, just like A.J. Hinch was fired from the Astros. should get booted, because this will tarnish the Red Sox legacy if they keep Alex Cora. I think you, if you're John Henry, the Red Sox owner, you fire Alex Cora immediately. As soon as, because he's going to get caught. He was part of the Astros, and even if the Red Sox get no uh, punishment for the cheating scandal, which they should, probably. They most likely should. Even if they didn't get fire, uh, caught, Alex Cora should still be fired. Because as a Red Sox fan, I do not want to see Alex Cora's face in that dugout. I do not. I don't want to see him in the dugout. First of all, the guy, yes, he's a decent manager. But you know what? He won us a World Series. But you know what? John Farrell won us a World Series too, and we fired him. Okay? Just because you, a manager wins a World Series doesn't mean you have to keep him. Okay? Look, is, is Alex Cora a decent manager? Hell yes. But my problem is this he cheated. He should get fired, he should lose his job. He'll, come, he'll probably be a, a manager on another team later on in his career. Maybe not even a manager. Maybe a pitching coach again. We never know. But he should not have a job. Neither should A.J. Hinch. Because they both cheated. Anyway, that's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about it. I'll see you guys in a new video. Peace out.